Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be making another baby comforter. It will be little lamp. So I will use two different uh, kinds of yarn. This is the velvet yarn and this one is cream yarn, uh, aran yarn. So for the velvet yarn, I will use hook number six and for aran yarn is five. Then we need scissors, um, needle, and stitch marker. So I will start from making the head. So I will take the velvet yarn and I will make magic ring. And I will place inside six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I will pull this tail to close this gap. Right. And the first round is ready. So now I'm making second round. I need to check first which one is my first uh, stitch. So I come from the back. It's easier. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Here is nearly invisible. So I am placing two single crochets in each stitch. So we'll have a 12 single crochets at the end of the round. So one and two together then three and four the same stitch five and six five and six seven and eight nine and ten and the last two 11 and 12. So second round is finished and now I'm making round number three when I a little bit increase the size. So in this point I am using my stitch marker and I will place in the last chain uh, the last stitch and from now I will be making one single crochet and two single crochets inside. So one single crochet and two single crochet all around. So I start from one single crochet and another one is two single crochets. And again, one single crochet and two single crochets. One, and two single crochets. Two single crochets calls increase. So that's how I will be using this terminology now. So it's again, one single crochet and increase. One single crochet and increase. And one single crochet. And last one is increase. All right, I want to increase a little bit more for another round. So I place my stitch marker at the last uh, stitch and we'll make two single crochets and increase. So one, one increase, one, one increase. So let's go one, two and increase. one, two, and increase, one, two, and increase, one, two, increase, 
one two increase all right and one two and increase all right so and last one i mean not last one the another one another uh, row we will make three single crochets and increase so one two three and increase then one two three and increase so finish this round the same way till the end and then we will continue all right i'd finished this row so now i will make four rounds of single crochet around so i place one single crochet in each stitch so from here make one two three and four times the same so just single crochet all right so i will do this part of camera and i will be back to show you what's next uh, how you can see i finished four rounds one two three four rounds of a single crochet that's how it's look for now but i am thinking to make one more round yeah uh, okay i will make one more round but this round i will uh, decrease a little bit the size so what i will do i will make invisible decrease so that's how we're making it for the next two stitches you just pick in the front of the stitch not full stitch so one and this one grab the yarn pull through two of those you have a two again and pull through of those and then make three single crochets one two and three and reduce again so again first part two grab pull through two and again grab yarn and the remaining two and again three single crochets one two and three and this way we will be making till the end i mean till the end of the round so this one calls invisible decrease but we say it's just decrease so one single crochet two and three and decrease and again one two moment two and three and decrease okay and again one two three and decrease and one two and the last three okay so that's how it look like now it's time to change the yarn so what i do i will uh, cut the pink yarn let me show you okay i will cut the pink yarn somewhere here okay all right then i will change my uh, hook for smaller for five millimeters and i think i will remove the last piece because instead i am placing here 
the cream yarn so taking through the cream yarn here so make sure then you hold it tight it's a little bit tricky at the beginning but i'm sure you can make it and now i will make round off a single crochet but we will be going on the back loop only so how we were picking first loop before uh, first piece so we're going only back one so regular single crochet but pick only the back part okay So we're not decreasing anything here yet. We just making round of single crochet around. Okay. You can actually finish it off now. We can make the knot here and put it inside to make sure then this thread is not coming out okay so let's keep working on this part now so only back loop So let's finish this back loop single crochet till this part till the end and then make one more single crochet all the way around and I will meet you there to continue. From now I will make a slight decrease so I will make the same like before I will make decrease and three single crochets one two and three and again decrease and three single crochets one two three All right whoopsie uh, one two three and we decrease again and one two and three so finish this round the same way and then you will make two single crochets and increase decrease all around then one single crochet and decrease all around but in the meantime we need to put our stuffing inside I will grab my stuffing. Okay. Because the hole might be too small later on, so we might like put it now. Okay. So let's keep working on it. So my final round was uh, one single crochet decrease, one single crochet decrease. So now I will make one more round of single crochets. I'm not closing yet because it will be a little bit longer. It will be the nose. So just one single crochet in each stitch. okay i am there so i will put a little bit more of the stuffing A 
bit more so now I will decrease every single stitch so I will be picking all of those then again we're not making single crochet between them finish as a slip stitch so I'm going through all of these three and that's it take out the yarn I will cut the yarn and remove the tail from this side then I take a needle and I will get all the remaining stitches here which left it should be few of them four maybe one two two three four five yes five and pull the yarn close this gap and hide the yarn inside you can take out in any other point Okay. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna have a nose here and here eyes, and this is hat. Okay. So how we hide the yarn? We just pick in different places around the same color, so it's just invisible here. Okay. And when you think then it's you 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 tie tangled enough your remaining yarn you, you can cut it off okay so what is missing now we need to make the ears so for the ears I will use the same yarn the cream one if I only find where is the beginning of my yarn, okay, I can use this part, okay. So, all right, and I will start with magic ring. And I will place inside the one, two, three, four, four single crochets, one, two, three and four okay I will pull the yarn and now second row I will place two single crochets in each stitch so the same way how before just one two three four five and six and seven and eight together all right so we have a eight now um i will a little bit increase so I will put my stitch marker in the last uh, stitch and I will make one single crochet and and there is increase in the another one so two single crochets okay and again one single crochet and two single crochets okay and one single crochet and two single crochets and one single crochet 
and two single crochets okay right I will put my stitch marker on the last stitch and make single crochet all the way we will go with probably two rounds or more let me see how it goes i am creating this ear how i crochet at the same time crochet as you go that's how it's supposed to sound okay Okay, one round is done. I'm going the second round now. definitely third row we'll see then how it's gonna look like Okay, three single crochets are finished. I think that's nearly there. So I will reduce now. Okay, I move my stitch marker at the last stitch and I will make decrease. Decrease and one single crochet. And again, decrease. and one single crochet decrease and one single crochet decrease and one single crochet i really need to hide this piece inside and now I will make one more round of single crochets around. Let's see how it's gonna look. I think that's what I was looking for. Okay, let's check. Yes, I think that's that's it. No need more. Yes, that will be enough. So make the second ear the same way. You cut the yarn here with a little bit uh, a longer yarn so we can assemble the ear and remove this yarn. Okay, that is fine. And make the second ear. Now I will be making body. Body will be very uh, simple because it will be just a rectangle but uh, double layer. So I go back to my velvet yarn and hook number six. And I will start from single chain. So I am placing the yarn between these two fingers 
roll over one finger, roll over the small one and hold it. And then put from the bottom, from the top and go back from the top, remove your hand and pull it. All right. So I will make a chain, I'm not sure how long, I will measure the right size for the size of my head and then we'll see. So I will be counting anyway, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, let's see, 20, 20 seems quite all right, let's see, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, all right, so let's go with 25, so 25 will be one side, and 25 going back, so we need 50 chain, chain of 50. So it's 25, so I need to make another 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So this is our chain, which we need. And then we will uh, hold it half. So how you can see, we we'll put the head here. I think it's the right size. So uh, now we check, make sure that it's, uh, your chain didn't roll, which is easy to do. You just make sure then it's straight <laughs> okay there and there and there and there okay so now the closet so put slip stitch in the last and the first chain you just grab the yarn here and make a slip stitch here and uh, yes from now we will be making single crochets all the way till we have a really nice rectangle shape so let's get started so at the first one i will make just one chain at the top here and then start from the first stitch and keep making single crochets one single crochet in each chain so it's very easy and I believe quite fast to finish it. So that's how it's gonna look like. You keep making it till you finish all the round. I am about to finish first round. So you have a two options. One option is you just place slip stitch here and it's gonna look smooth and one up and keep doing the other row i don't really do that because it's not necessary so i am just a uh, keep going for another um crochet single crochets at the top it's easier i think i think uh, when you are doing the second uh, way you don't have really visible this connection here. Everything is like sealed together. So uh, you just need to keep going as many rounds as you think you're gonna have really uh, nice um, rectangle. You might have 20, maybe 30 rows of single crochets. I will update you very soon when I will get there and check my own work. Um, yeah, how many uh, rows it took me to be there. So yeah, just keep going till it's like rectangle this side. Then you put the head, yeah. now i would like to make hands and legs they will be the same so we just make four the same shapes i will start from magic ring 
and I will make five single crochets inside. One, two, three, four, and five. I will close this circle and place two single crochets in each stitch. So I will have a 10 at the end. So one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, and two more, nine and 10. All right, now I am really untangled very badly. I will pull the yarn more, this tail, so you see I still have a gap here and I don't really want it. Okay, so I pull it, it's gone. And now I will put stitch marker in the last and I a little bit increase. So I will make one single crochet and increase in the second one. Then again, one single crochet and increase and one single crochet and increase one single crochet and increase and one single crochet and the last increase all right and then two single crochets and increase so one two and increase one two and increase one two increase one two increase and one and two and increase all right that's enough size and now i will make two rows of single crochet so one single crochet in each stitch twice around one round is nearly ready let's make one more oopsie Alrighty, so that's what we have for now. I will make one more round of single crochet. So we'll have a three.
oops, oops, come back. Okay. Okay, that was the last stitch. And now I will decrease. So I will make invisible decrease and two single crochets. One and two. Again, decrease and one, two, and decrease and one, two, decrease and one, two. One and two, right? That's how it look like. And uh, another decrease. So this time I will make, oops. Um, let's make one round of single crochet now and then we will decrease. I think it's gonna be look better. decrease now so let's make decrease and one single crochet and 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 again decrease and the last one single crochet okay so let's make one more round of single crochets Okay, that's here we are. And now I need to put a little bit stuffing, not much. I want just stuffing at the end, not till the top because this leg will be too heavy for me. All right, let's get in. Okay, so it's like really, really nice softy. I think that's fine, I need more and we will stitch it together or crochet it together so you pick just front and back stitch and make single crochet again next stitch there and single crochet three i think it should be five of those four four and one more five Okay, and that's our leg is ready or hand. We will have a four of those. So you just make three more and cut the yarn a little, little bit longer tail to assemble and remove this piece from here and 
bread is ready. I'm taking two DK yarns, uh, pink, baby pink and black, and I will make the eyes now and the nose. So what I'm gonna do, I will cut some piece of black yarn and get my needle. I like my huge needle because it's easier to go through all of the layers. And there where I have uh, this uh, changing um, border actually, I am gonna keep as a bottom. So when I stitch it, it will be at the bottom, it won't be visible. So I will place my eyes somewhere here at the top. So I will put the yarn somewhere at the back and go, let me see, maybe somewhere here. He, 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 he. Uh, not, not there, not there, not there. Okay, maybe here. It's really tricky to make it right. <laughs> Pull the yarn till you cannot see that here. So anyway, your stuffing inside is holding your yarn, so no need to be worried. And get for example, one, two, three, maybe somewhere here. And then is one, two, and one, and two. Here. So, um, Maybe a little bit higher. No, I don't like it. Needs to go. That's how you need to keep trying till it look how you want it to look. Okay, I think I will place them maybe there higher. Just keep practicing till it's right. <laughs> okay. Here we go again. Okay, there and here maybe it's still not right why I cannot make it right something like this and get there okay I think that look fine and now we hide the yarn so this time we're not placing in another place we need to go back exactly to the same point when our yarn come out so now and pick the other place and pull the yarn till it's invisible so basically this yarn is rolling around your stuffing inside so that's how it holds and again the same all right see actually you cannot see so you don't see <laughs> okay and make it a few times we can hide it somewhere at the bottom because that will be the place where we stitch the body head and body together okay okay it's good and i can cut it it's something like that happening then you can see you just do this and that's all they're ready now i need to make the nose so i pick the baby 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 color baby pink for the nose uh, but i'm gonna need the smaller needle probably for that 
I'm not prepared, so I need to jump and get my uh, smaller needle. Um, yes, I got it. Sorry for the mess and noise. So yeah, this one will be better now for the nose. Okay. So I start the same way. I start somewhere at the bottom and go to the tip of the nose, hide it, and just keep stitching kind of triangle, so this way maybe, and go back again to the middle. Okay, we keep coming back to the middle always. It's good to hold it. I know you cannot see what I'm doing, but it's good to hold it because it's not moving this and it's not coming out. some gap left and little bit here again The nose takes a while to get ready. Yeah, I think we're nearly there. Okay, so I can finish it off. Yeah, I think it's good. I'm happy with that. And the height the same way how I hide the black color. Get in. ready it is so ready I am ready to attach my ears now I will attach them somewhere at the bottom line of the eyes I will take again my huge blue favorite needle okay and I might 
start somewhere here on one, two, second row. We don't want to have these uh, ears too high because instead of lamy, it will look like rabbit. And that wasn't the plan. <laughs> All right, it's very easy to assemble the ears. Just keep following the stitch line. Okay. And everything will be right. Yes, that's the beautiful level. I like it. We good now. So I'm going back the same way to make sure that the ears are assembled strongly. Okay. See, I didn't assemble properly this side. Brilliant. I think it's ready. So the same way I hide the yarn inside the ear. Okay. So hide the yarn and uh, connect the second ear. Okay. That's it, beautiful. I love it. Super kitty pinky lomi. I finished the body. It took me quite a while. Let's see how many rows it took. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that's how I was expecting. It took 30 rows. So now what we need to do, if I fold it half, when you finish it, put this um, hook in your corner and fold them nicely together. And we will close this side with a single crochet. So just put your hook here and Keep single crochet all the way till the end. Picking the stitches one by one. Okay. That's how it looks like. I am about to finish my first uh, side, one side. So I will show you how I close it, the last one. All right. Okay. I think I need one more, okay. Remove the yarn. Cut 
the yarn, pull the tail and gently tighten up. Now I'm taking the needle and I will hide the yarn inside the body but I want this part be like open so you need to be careful and don't uh, put it on double to both of those you just uh, hide through one layer only okay and then I go there and I'm not going through this on the other side I'm still on the same side all right Okay, and remaining yarn, remaining yarn you can put somewhere even inside and leave it inside, okay? So you need to make the same, the another side, the bottom one. Um, you just attach the yarn to the end and make the same way single crochets to close it. Now I'm ready to attach the legs. <clears throat> so I made four legs, they all the same. And I will be attaching them on the sides here. One and two and the two for the other side at the top they will be attached exactly the same way. <clears throat> so I will start from one. That's why we left the tail here, a little bit yarn. Okay. Okay. And the easiest way, you just start from the corner. And keep Stitching stitch by stitch. <clears throat> okay, something strange happened here. <clears throat> Let's see what happened. Okay. okay, need to be very careful because the velvet yarn is very, very soft and stretchy. Mm. 
guys look fine i will make the another i will go back the same way make a double This side looks slightly better and the high the yarn how we done it before okay the yarn so one leg is attached it's super cute so we attach the remaining three and the final thing left to do we need to attach the head so i will have a needle with the pink yarn for this and head will be attached exactly how you can see here just stitch it together you can start like this get your line whenever you want to do that uh, it's good if at the first one you will make a knot double knot or even triple because this is slippery yarn and this yarn likes to uh, opening the knots it doesn't hold very properly but let's try it I've been making three because sometimes it's my one is losing it okay and let's just going on the this border first and then we'll stitch all the way around to make sure then every side holds Okay, the front is done and now I need to stitch all the way here so I will be moving with this a lot go there and here and then in So if you would like to know what yarn I am using, please check my description. I left everything there and uh, also there are links for my uh, social media, my website and please subscribe if you like my channel to watch more of the videos because I will be publishing and I'm publishing two minimum per week sometimes more depends how busy i am so if you uh, also click the bell next to subscribe you will be notified always when i publish new video if you think then you like to see something uh, any design any toy 
uh, which you would like me to do, please leave me a comment and I'm gonna be happy to do that for you online and show you my work, my project. So yes, that's it. How are we doing? Nearly there, going to the side. <laughs> okay you can see <clears throat> sometimes the head is dropping down like like this not it's not necessary but you might uh, make uh, the stitches more further here even i put it very close that's why the head is a little bit dropping down but i don't think so then this is problem but if you want standing like this you put stitches more far but I'm happy with this. It doesn't need to be. This is like sleepy, sleepy lamp, so can be. Oi, girl. That's the girl, definitely. Look how cute is she. All right, I will repeat the same way. I will go back the same way. Because I seen what children and babies are doing with the toys. Uh, recently, I gave someone the gift, my toy, and the boy was one year old. And he started from removing the eyes. So, uh, yeah, we need to make it strong enough to make sure that it's impossible to do that. I like to name my toys on my website, so if you have idea how you would like me to name this girl, so please leave me the comment the below and yeah, I will be happy to talk to you about the name for this cutie. And yeah, this is it. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you join me soon again for my next project. I hope you enjoyed it and make with me your own toy. Bye.